string here on day 73 of the 100 Days of Making Comics Challenge. Uh, trying to have my face up here in the box again. We'll see how this goes. It was a struggle last time, probably going to be a struggle this time. Um, but might help make today a little more entertaining because mostly just working on page one some more. Uh, just working on kind of the inks and, well, my version of inking, which is mostly just cleaning up the line and it's still the same line. Like, I feel like that's cheating, but it's digital, so... Digital is kind of a lot of cheating, if you want to look at it that way. Um, but I've gotten, at this point, most of the page uh, ready to... Well, like, ready to start coloring. There's the first panel and the second pa the last panel that I need to work on. But the middle bits, I think, are pretty good so far. Um, just, you know, more tweaks I need to make with it. Just slow progress today. It's, especially when I'm being picky with the lines, it's going to be slow progress. It's not a bad thing, it just, I'm trying to find a balance, because, I don't know, so far, I think this is the third day I've worked on this page? Second? I don't know, I'm losing track of time. Um, but basically it's going to take me, you know, two hours or more to do the inking for the first page. I don't know if that's a lot, or, like, maybe that's too quick, I don't know. Um, but uh, when you split it out between, like, four days, that feels like it's taking a long time. Uh, but to be fair, this whole thing has been taking a long time, so who knows. Uh, but yeah, um, just kind of plugging away at that. You may notice there's actual natural light behind me, because I'm doing this in the daytime. Because uh, my roommate's at work, so I don't feel weird doing it while well, he's, like, over there at his computer. I need to find a balance. I need to figure out how to <laughs> record in front of people without feeling awkward. But we'll see. Um, oh, and you can watch me struggle with hands for a while. Uh, basically, I like struggled with this one for quite a while until I realized, okay, I can just like hold a thing and just like look at how my hands. I can't do it from camera angle, but like something like that, just like hold the thing and be like, alright, this is how the thumb would work, this is kind of how the hands work, and that's when I finally got it. Um, I'm trying not to make it too detailed, though, because my style's kind of cartoony, and if I had suddenly have like very detailed hands and nothing else detailed, it'll look weird. Um, but at least it's better than looking awful, so, you know, good, good uh, progress there. And here's something maybe uh, you guys can su give suggestions for. Um, since I'm working on his locker here, I like... I've done this for other characters in the past. Um, when it's like their space, their room, something like that, putting posters up. Because I like that idea, because, I don't know, especially you know high schoolers, they put stuff in their locker, they decorate it, they make it their own. And I'm just not sure exactly what to put in there. I don't really know enough about the character yet to understand what he would have. So that clearly means I need to understand him better, but I don't know, what what are your guys' ideas? What what would you have? And I'm pretty much basing this locker off my old high school locker, which is why it has one of those little mesh things. But, I don't know, something to kind of just hint at who this character is without actually saying it. So we'll see how well that goes. Uh, but anyway, I hope this video is working out. <laughs> we'll find out in a second here. And I uh, hope you're all having a, a good day, night, evening, whatever. And I'll see you all on day 74.